don't need a spirit vessel in this game. It's great against Timbersaw, yeah. so I'm wondering if uh, Kanka want to work towards that. It's going to be a core Kanka. Now down bottom, right after going mid, it makes sense actually. The mid lane gets his items and uh, then your offlaner who wants his bottle to just keep on spamming quills is happy as well. Back at top, Mirana. There's the arrow. Yeah, leaps in, hits the arrow, and this should be a kill with the spark rate. Five sticks. Uh, they tried to leave it for the Arc Warden, I think. Oh, he's going to live. He's going to get he's the knife He's going to deny himself. Oh, Mirana. No, he gets yes. him. Hopeful. That's Tim's. Leaps in. Gonna is he going to stay? Oh. oh. With the Center board shadows. is ready on Kaka if he wants to place it. He's dropping it. Yep, they're going to go for this kill. They really want it, and they should have it. Yeah, he's just going to turn and fight. He wants to bring down the Rubik. He's going to get the kill. Can he buy the Midas? Oh. He did. Whoo, what he a player. He actually got the kill before and uh, bought the Midas. Yes. That's huge for him. That kind of salvages that situation for him. And they're going to go back with the X into the arrow. Hits the Timber Sword. Didn't use this one off. And now the Star Storm follow up. It should be enough damage. And yeah, they've got the kill with the Mirana of Keen Gaming. Very even game here at 15 minutes. Back at mid. X boat. This boat stolen, stolen by the boat. Rubik. He's going to turn that around. That's going to mitigate some of this damage coming on in. Bristle, though, okay, with that Tidebringer, is going to get the kill. And now Bristle's found a new target. It's the AA, the right click damage. One more right click. It's there. It's just enough. As Bristle now in all sorts of trouble. He's overcommitted. He's dying to the Timber Saw. That pure damage coming on in from the Shackroom. Looking for is the Radiance. Yeah. And not too far away from oh, that. Oh, nice one. arrow. Oh, my gosh. They've got the combo with the Grimstroke, banging them two together. The Life Seal are going to get thrown up in the air as well. He couldn't get the Rage off. And now the Stolen Boat coming on in, but it's too little, too late. The X back is going to pull the Rubik back in for a third and a fourth easy kill. That's a big Seb. That's kind of a standard build on Kanka these days. Yeah. Seems like uh, a lot of these uh, all shut up, go gods. Never mind, that's only a replicate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still gold. It's 300 gold. That's basically a hero kill. That adds up, and they're looking to fight this mid lane. The arrow is going to be dodged by the rage. Tier 1 tower being focused here by the life seal. They're going to leash two together. The ember there, who's going to get infested with the life sealer inside. Can he ram his way out of this one? No, he's been pulled up in the air, and life seal does not have rage. This is a disaster for Keen Gaming. Oh, they've lost Ember, who's going to instantly buy back, but this fight's already over and lost. The Ember needs to be careful not to die again. He remnants away. Mirana's going leaping on forward. Another leap Arrow, is there. The it's going to hit. Ooh, There's Mirana. no follow-up, though. <laughs> I think Mirana was like, where are we, guys? Are we go again this one? Arrow's stolen now. That's true. I don't think we'll be seeing any of this. Kanka go charging on in. He's going to be instantly forced to BKB. There was a Life Stealer Infested who's going to cause some problems here in Bristleback. Trying to commit for this tower here. I think TNC just have to get out. Nice arrow from afar. We'll catch the Timber Saw. Ember's going to go charging. I think TNC needs to get the hell out of this one. They don't have the Arc One with them. The Ice Blast is going to go flying on in as well. Doesn't catch the Bristle. Marana has Leap Charges still. Needs to maybe get to the high ground here. There's another Star Storm. Leaps away. There's just so much kiting going on here. Bristleback's going to go charging on in with a BKB. He wants this AA who's going to be forcing his TP on out. Cuckoo, his BKB wearing off. He's in trouble once this expires. Another arrow goes flying. It's going to catch the Timber Soul, but I don't think they've got the damage for this one. He's got a Heart of Tarask here. They're getting him low, and it's going to be Tim's instead on the Marana going down. Too aggressive coming in from him. The Stolen Arrow is flying back at TNC. But the bottom lane, Parker. Yeah, I was wondering what was happening. Where this Arc Warden is, there's your answer. Rain tracks down. And now they're saying go. They want to take a fight because yeah. uh, they have vision of a life stealer who just TP'd back to the bottom lane to defend. Bounty runes. Looked like Cuckoo was going for some up top. Doesn't quite get him. And there is going to be an arrow follow up. The stolen arrow. The boat's going to help with some damage mitigation. As I said, they're going to change target. They're going to go find the Grimstroke instead. Did get out the soul bind and. Can they get Roshan here? Keen Gaming, 15,000 network lead deficit for them, but uh, they are in the driver's seat at the moment, it feels like. Yeah. I mean, but they're uh, still not a real... We didn't see a real team fight with Arc Warden. It's kind of like a 5v4, it's ever so slightly. I think Arc Warden might be coming in for this fight here, but they've caught Tim's here. Can he get himself out of this one? He doesn't manage to do so. Has buyback if he wants to use them. We're going to see double buybacks coming into play. Bristleback turns, pops the BKB with the help of the force off away. And now it may be a time for Keen Gaming to get the hell out of this one. The Timbersaw has a package inside. It's the life still. I think he's just trying to get him the hell out of this one. The boat follow-up is there, and they're getting him very, very low. Can they kill him? Life still's going to pop out, turn and fight. Hasn't got rage for a couple of seconds. Doesn't have mana as well with the one charge. It should be able to turn and fight this one as 
Kunker gets bashed and Kunker's in all sorts of trouble. Pops the BKB, goes for the TP. Where's the bash? Where's the there bash? It he gets is. it at Keen the gaming. end. Keen Gaming get a second kill. Down 15k gold. It's now just 10k gold with those buybacks and they're charging forward. Roche is going to go down so quickly. Rivers the nearby, though. Goo and the medallion. AA still has ulti. They scout it out. Are they going to go for some kind of a steal here? What's the play? They don't want to buy back the life steal. It's still 18 seconds without him. And Roshan looks like he's just going to go down. The Rubik blinks in, doesn't time it right. The Aegis is picked up by Dr. Stone. That's the bristleback of Cuckoo. And maybe he's just going to keep sending some, some doubles in down that bottom lane. Let's see if that's going to be the play. Has a blink dagger now instead of the shadow. Bro, as well. Ooh, hits connects it. on Ember. They're pinging it. It's a, it looks like they want to go for the building damage. They're playing it safe. And then it's going to be Ark 1 blinking in with the Nullify. He broke the Lincolns. Trying to get those right clicks in. Doesn't quite have the damage with the Arc Warden, and he will lose his Tempest double. Arrows and Torrents, they are just looking to force these towers here. Arrows continue to go flying out here, and it's going to be Mirana leaping on forward. Didn't quite have the damage to kill off the Rubik, who did get kept alive with the Grimstroke, uh, the, the Glimmer Cape. And the arrows just continue to go flying, and it's going to be a tier 3 tower looking to be claimed here. Timbersaw getting so incredibly low. The Ember Force to buy back. The Ice Boss is going to land on two, but the damage just isn't really there. They're kiting them with these four stars, and there's just nothing King Gaming can do. They just can't keep these heroes in place. They're falling one by one, forcing out these buybacks. Three buybacks used already, and TNC may just say, let's just, let's just you know, re-engage, reset a little bit, but they're being chased after here. I think King Gaming feel now, it's now or never here. The arrow's going flying up, forcing them to Kind of disperse. It's so hard to chase when these arrows are just flying at you. Mark Warden will throw in one last Tempest double. This one maybe just going to feed away some gold. The arrows again going flying. Doesn't latch on anyone. The leash though is there. Soul binding two together. Mirana's gone leaping in with the double Sarsom. Doesn't quite kill the Rubik here. Life Sealer still leashed. We'll get the rage away. And with Rubik dead for 100 no plus seconds. On Rubik. Whew, not looking good. Timbersaw. Pull back in. He's got no buyback as well. And this is looking like the Emperor King Gaming. A cleave from the Kunker. Slices through the life sealer's life. And it's GG. 53 minutes. King Gaming. They fought hard and long. They were so resilient. But it's TNC. Late game. Mark Warden. Yeah. I love the patience from TNC. It could be a core Earth Shaker because he's playing against the melee hero. If he gets close, Enchant Totem with the Aftershock. So, and it will be. Yeah. All right. Shadow Demon just happily spamming these poisons out. They are going to go in looking for a kill. They've got the Pounce of Fault, the Lina. LSA is there, but not going to save his life. You see that he's not farming. It's still okay. You rotate either both supports or, let's say, a mid laner because Slark's not going to rotate and uh, try to grab a kill on him. Yep. All right, I've gone in here, Sand King. He got dusted up in his Sandstorm here, and he's going to be X back in. Can they get the kill of the Slark? There it he is. He gets it. There's one. Can he get another? He would love to keep getting these Eshin shift. He's gotten two now. Off to a really nice start. Back at top, though, Tim's will get found out by this Queen of Pain. So Bounty runes and his jungle farm has not gone as well as you'd hope. Next initiation. They want to get this Bane kill. The bow flop is there. Has stick charges, but doesn't get a chance to get them off. As stolen Fiend's grip. Tim's is looking for a chance to use this one. He gets Barra Strike immediately as soon as he casts it. Two-man LSA as well. Great play from the Lina here. They've gotten one kill. They want to get a second here. They already throw the Laguna Blade nice and early. Kunker, he's been veiled up. He's taking so much magic damage, and Yi gets a double kill. Well, actually, the, sec the first one not going his way, but he's dominating. Two, three percentage. sentries and give it to him. FP. Barra Strike follow-up. They want the Shadow Demon in. Ooh, doesn't hit the screen. There is a Sonic Wave, and there's the Blink. There's going to be an Echo Slam Fissure combo. They immediately delete Sand King. Sonic Wave is there. We'll finish off the Shadow Demon. Is there a Blink? It's on cooldown. It's level one Blink, and as a result, Shaker. Blink reveal. And here comes the Smoke Drain. They're smoking towards their Slark, who is in the enemy jungle. We'll get found by a Queen of Pain here. May have to be careful here. He's going to turn and look to fight here. Pop nice the ultimate borrow. before the Barrow Strike came in. But the Epicenter is there. The Slark getting very low. There's the Echo Slam as well. The Queen of Pain being kept alive with the defensive sleep. The Fiend's Grip there as well. Can they kill off this quad? The Sonic Wave stolen! Oh, Tibbs, he turns it around. Kills the Queen of Pain with that one. They're still going to get Barrow Strike up. And Armel showing up with a boat. That's going to mitigate some damage while killing the Sand King. Two for two so far. As Bane, Nightmare is perhaps looking to set things up for an Alchemist stun. They've got the Kunker with the Radiance damage as well. Slark in all sorts of trouble if he doesn't find a leap out. He's going to get himself down to the low ground. Sand King with the Blink Dagger. I think Slark realized he'd been spotted there, and Sand King did not want to initiate on a Slark who can just Dark Pact it off. 
gone in. They want to get these bounty runes. They are going to pick up a couple, and this time around, it's going to be much more King Gaming who are the team that's stronger, but they've lost Bane in the back lines here, and unfortunately for them, that does not look good for them as the boat is going to go flying in, catch the lean as well. Slark wants another kill. He's going to get it. That's two kills for the Slark. Can't really have the damage to kill off the Alchemist in the back lines. Queen of Pain still being chained down here. Can There's they the actually bring slam. down the Queen of Pain? There's a torrent follow-up, and they've got the kill. The Fiend's Grip on the side. They've taken out Slark, though. A lot of damage under the Slark. The F Epicenter is there. Stolen Sandstorm, not the spell he was perhaps hoping for. Talent. <laughs> yeah, I think I we now understand it. why you haven't played at TI uh, since TI2, Lacoste. <laughs> uh, well, here comes TNT. They've gone charging in. They picked up the Sand King, got too aggressive, and Bane is also Big in a bit of trouble. Wave. Nice. Boat, though, is going to help mitigate any of the follow-up damage here, and they may be able to get the Queen of Pain. There's a stun follow-up to the Disruption, and... Queen of Pain dies once, can they kill her a second time? I don't think they realize there's an Aegis, they've got an Echo Slime if they need to use it, they don't, there's a Torrent, there's a Totem, and they burst down the Quap, bye bye Aegis, that did not last long at all, and TNC immediately punish King Gaming. Arc Warden needed to recover, they, they're still taking the initiative and playing with other four heroes. They know there's a few dead, they want to take a fight here. Oh, they're just trapped in these trees! They're both just stuck on top of each other! There's a Yule's on Sanking, but I don't think he can do a whole lot with that. He's completely strapped with the stolen Burrow Strike. Yule Scepter will dodge the boat here. He's going to Burrow to the south, but he's dead anyways! TNC right now, they have three Observer Board placed on the map, and three inside of Shadow Demons yeah. inventory, so... Queen of Pain, nice. Not nice. No, but I thought disruption was a save, but no, that was a dire disruption. Alco's charging in. He's got this basher. He's got BKB. He's destroying them. He takes out the Rubik first, wants this Kunkka. Shadowblade away. Where's the detection? Looks like the dust didn't quite clip him. Is another blink in from the Sand King. The Sand King gonna go looking for this one. He hits the Barrow Strike, but he doesn't catch the Slark here. Slark's on charging himself with a BKB. There's gonna be a stolen Barrow Strike from Tim's. That helps take out the Sand King. And the Lena LSA does land on the Rubik with the cast range. The Dragon Slave fall up in the Queen of Pain. They're gonna get a third kill. TNC crumbling one by one. Kind of thing. And Lena. Next Torrent is there. Are they gonna look to take this kill? It looks like that's the plan. The Nightmare save is there. And with the. BKB on Slark, he's being fiend scripted up in the trees. The boat takes too long to really cancel, but they still killed the Lena going for the Bane. On the back lines, it's Alchemist taking out the Rubik immediately. This Alk is such a beefy boy, pops the BKB, turns to fight Bash. the Slark. He forces him to pop the Shadow Dance just to keep himself alive, and instead Alk's gonna find a new target. It's the Kunker. These Bash is just coming in one after the other. There's no escape for poor Armel. Echo is back in, and what an echo it was with the BKB wearing off. The Sonic Wave's there from Joe, but it's too little too late. It's Cuckoo's Earthshaker winning TNT the fight. Just trying to make sure that his team can secure this Roshan. 15 seconds, the Earthshaker respawning soon. TNC, they've almost bought enough time. They're going to get hit by a Barrow Strike into a two-man LSA. Laguna Blade there as well, forcing out a BKB from Armel's Kunker, but they've already lost Slark. He just gets Chain Bash, and there's another Bash coming out on the Armel. Dies in the BKB. This Alchemist just shredding them with this item build of his. All eyes on Cuckoo. Oh my gosh. Cuckoo, what can he do? His teammates are just falling. They're dropping like flies. They just lost multiple heroes back to back. But this Roshan is so incredibly low. Cuckoo goes flying with the BKB. Doesn't have a good Echo Slam initially. Is he going to go for it? Waiting for the hero to come out of the, out of the disruption. Maybe it's the Slark. He needs the backup. Slark just so incredibly low with the BKB. He's just running from the epicenter. And they're just not latching on. He blocks the pounce away. Sanking blinks in. Not sure that's what he was hoping for. Echo Slam was used, but did absolutely nothing. Just did a bit of damage to the Sand King, who's still barely alive. They're going to lose the Shaker again. Boat goes flying, doesn't catch anyone except Roshan. And it's King Gaming, who find themselves better postured because of it all. Same time, TNC. Just want to make sure they don't lose a fight and lose this game right here and now. 27k gold lead. 32 to 30. So even on kills, but all these buybacks and the farming pace of the Alchemist just so hard to keep up with. Lotus Orb yep. goes in. Oh, that Soul Catcher damage, though. Doing some work here. Queen of the Game is blinking from the sides here. The Sonic Wave is there, but the Disruption helps keep the first target alive. It is going to be the Alchemist following up the Disruption, though. He's looking to go on the Rubik, but the Invis from the Glimmer Cape help him keep him alive. The Alchemist gets pulled back in. He's in some trouble. The Aegis actually expires. The Echo Slime is there. They catch the Sand King as well. First goes down the Alchemist. Can Sand King get out of this one? Has got a Yule Septum. He's got no more Aegis, and this is trouble for Keen Gaming. They may have been baited in. He can't blink with the oh. poison, drops the gem as well, and TNC punish King Gaming. King Gaming, say we are non-believers. 
We don't subscribe to Dota Plus. We subscribe to killing this slot. Deleted from the game for two minutes with a buyback. They're going to get Cuckoo on the Shaker as well. Time to test TNC's high ground defense. They are in a 3v5 scenario and they don't have those illusions to play with. What's the plan here? Two-man fire strike, two-man LSA follow-up. An absolutely beautiful setup coming in from the Sand King. Old 11 with a fantastic setup. The Rubik in trouble as well with the Orca there. Beyond Godlike. He is having a fantastic game. Another two-man Barrow Strike coming on in. This Sand King is just having a hell of a game. Armel in the Fountain. He's so incredibly low. The Queen of Pain wants it. He's actually getting stunned by the Fountain. It needs to be careful. Bought a Refresher in the Fountain just to blink away. I think he wanted to get a Sonic Wave out as well, but he didn't have the mana for it. So, uh, getting a bit ahead of yourselves. Keen Gaming, they need to get out. Sarko's charging forward. Takes out the Alchemist who does have buyback. Are they going to use this one? The Shadow Dance has been popped. Does need to be a little bit careful, and it does look like Rubik's trying to see what he can do with the Soul and Barra Strike. He's doing some work here. The Epicenter comes on in. They want to take out Tim's. He's getting low. The Glimmer Cape is there, though. The Slark trying to build up some Magi here. You gotta be so careful as this fight drags on. The Slark the is getting script. scarier and scarier. But it's a Fiend Script. It's on the Kunker, not the Slark. But still a big kill nonetheless. Two minutes on the sidelines. An Alchemist Sand King. They're buying back. They smell blood. They smell GG. They want to end this one. They realize that Kanka nor Rubik have a buyback at this point. They want to end Shaker. it. Slark bought back. I mean, bought, bought a refresher. He may pop this just for the Shadow Dance. He's waiting to see if he needs to use it now. 18 seconds before he is Shadow Dance. Will he need to pop it? 12 seconds here with the Shadow Demon. They're buying some time here. He's going to have double ultimate soon. The Fear is in. The Blink Echo Slam. They want this Alchemist. The Nightmare Safe is there. The Lean under the Tower. The Fissure there as well. Blinking in with the Totem. You got He's it. taking out the Elk. That's a dieback. And Slack's on charging as well. Has the Batch. Goes on the bank. This is looking so good for TNC for now. They've kept their throne alive. They're still causing problems here. The Refresher is there. Slack has another ultimate. If he needs it, can he get it off? He's being stunned up. He's chain stunned. He can't get off. The Defensive Disruption is there. Is there a refresher. a refresher? Pop the ult, but he gets it off. He's still alive. The LSA, he PKBs as well. TNC charging down bottom. They had this ward. They see everything. <gasps> this is so good for them. They blink with the totem, but the Alchemist blinks to the high ground first. He saw them as well. He takes out the Shadow Demon. Instantly buying back here. The grip with the Laguna Blade, trying to take out this Shaker in the BKB. Can they kill off Cuckoo? This would be such a big kill for them. Cuckoo has been feared up as well. And it looks like he's going to get the totem out of there as he dies. And Queen of Pain gets the kill. Alchemist. Dead once again with that buyback. Leash onto the Sand King and chases on. Gabby wants these supports. He's got the Diffusal Blade. He's got him. Spain. Yep. No Scepter ready. Not even using it. High ground. They do spot this ward out. So we'll see initiation coming on in. Laguna Blade being thrown. They really want this Rubik, but they're going to turn around with the Abyssal Blade. They've turned to take out the Sand King. He's dead without buyback. Alchemist still dead for 28 seconds as well. Abyssal Blade onto the Queen of Pain. Go with the BKB. All right, time to give back that I, refresher. I was just thinking that. He's, he's hugging the Rubik. He's like, bro, give me give me this refresher. He's he's asking for it. Queen of Pain blinking in, using that fear just to repel them from the base. The Sonic Wave doing some good damage as well, but that's the Stolen Fiend's grip killing off the Alchemist. He's dead again. He's just spending the entire late game waiting to respawn. Death after death. Poor Alchemist is just having it rough, and they've caught out the Bane as well. May just be a support, but that's a big kill considering all the saves that this Bane brings to the table. The lean in the back lines as well. They're just melting one by one. King Gaming have fallen apart here in the that's late it. game. That's it. GG's called. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> I imagine TNC emotions running high. What a comeback from then.